you're going to make the dorsal shift yourself, you need a pipe bender. You I'm going to give you a walkthrough on the sulky I built and how it all goes together. So starting at the end of the shaft, you have a bearing joint that has the little swivel in there. I drilled a quarter inch hole in the base of this. You're going to need drill bits, cobalt drill bits, to be able to drill through metal and wood if you're going to attempt this project. So drill the bolt. You need um, lock nuts so that they don't come undone while you're driving around. So that gets bolted on there and that makes it so you can attach your harness directly or a two dog hitch. Then you need a strap to make sure if for some reason the wing nut came undone, you don't flip over backwards. So the shaft is three quarter inch metal pipe and then you have to bend the top angle slightly over 90 and then the bottom angle at 90. And then this is a 3D printed part to join the two pipes together but you can use a regular pipe coupler. You're just gonna want to drill out these holes and actually bolt it all the way through the pipe. And then you're gonna wanna reinforce that with a piece of dowel that's gonna go inside your pipe. Then you have your foot bar, um, and then this part is called a bike handlebar stem. We 3D printed this one, but you can buy them. These are the brake levers. These are very cheap. I'm going to be trying a different set. The seat, this was the tractor seat that I cut up and modified, but basically you need a deck mounting slide and then a seat which I have a couple different options. That's one of the most expensive parts, the slide and the wheels. So then I have built armrests, but basically those are to make sure that you don't accidentally brush up against the wheels while you're driving. The wheels are 24 inch open hub tricycle wheels for adult trikes. And then we have designed and printed a adapter to be able to mount the disc brakes to the wheel itself. It has holes pre-drilled and then I have put aluminum edging on the board and then you have to get an adapter to mount the brake coupler there but you're gonna have to modify that so you have to saw off part of it and drill holes to be able to screw it directly to the board there. On the bottom the axle is a 5 8 inch solid steel rod that goes through. You need to drill holes to be able to put stop pins in and then you need washers to make sure that everything stays evenly spaced and ride smoothly because you wouldn't want the pin to be hitting anything. And then on the inside, you can't see it, there's going to be another washer in there. And then I use half inch PVC to press against that washer and the washer on the other side to keep both wheels pushed out all the way so that everything stays in position so that your brakes are going to ride smoothly and function. And then I attached the axle with a uh, half inch brackets there just screwed on to the board. This is a one inch by 12 inch by four foot board that is cut down to approximately, I wanna say 28 inches. And that was just once I got the wheels mounted on the axle, then I measured the spacing to be able to put the brakes in and have this line up. And then that gave me my board length. And then this is just furring strip on either side so that your shaft 
is going to be able to be mounted above the axle or below the axle if you're sitting on it. So then that goes out. These are parts that we also designed and 3D printed. So I have one hole drilled through the shaft that keeps it from pulling out. And then these are nice snug brackets that hold in position. You're going to have lift on the shaft, so you need good strong bracket here. I tried to use just some metal strapping, but that pulled out. So now this bracket is bolted all the way through the metal seat. So that's a good strong piece there. Uh, I, on other sulkies, I have bolted it here and at the back, but drilling a hole through the metal pipe to bolt it on causes a weak point which can make your shaft bend. Inside the shaft running all the way up to the bend is another dowel rod and that just increases the strength of the metal pipe.